never should have let her go. Maybe... Maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can some muscle over here! This is where we run. my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. The ship! There's my girl! Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat! We're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am Groot. A tree? Stop yanking my tail! I am Groot. I'm not in a rush to find out. Whatever it is, it has feelings. They're pure. Relentless. Oh, that's just sweet. It's gargantuan and moving. Nugget is plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving. No, bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah. Once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big blue. Yes, big blue is a perfect name for this beast. Hi, JP! Not today! Dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big ol' stomach. Nebula, how can I... What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Don't make me beg. It's okay, Gamora. Let's leave her be. Pick it back up. She'll let me have this. Thanks, Quill. Well, I'm not ready to give up on you. I'm going to get Rocket. There's no use. Can't be. Back together. This time. 
<laughs> Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Just very. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. Maybe then I could have slept. Thank you. For helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. At least, Gamora's okay. It's my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I... loved her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? I can't, I can't. Not after everything that happened. It's too late for Gamora and me. I'm a living reminder of her. Time with Thanos. She can't move on until that last... The last piece of him is gone. <laughs> Things will be better soon. For everyone. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter. For listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll tell her what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but <laughs> I'm already dying. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to... I don't know, people. Uh, trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I love you. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Okay. Of 
course. Whatever you need. I'm so sorry, Gamora. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah, and she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Just had to put in some elbow grease. Sounds gross now that I think about it. inside an upset stomach. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of Neb... No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any... No, Drax! 
No engines here. This whole stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Ah, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there, finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that ghosted me out. Oh, man. I'm not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Mind if I do? Peter, what if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? No! to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Bingo. Okay. 
is a good helmet. Sounds like progress. It's only like our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Just please, focus on your own things. We have to get as light as possible, so it's time for some hard choices. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. You kept your knives, though, right? Hovat and Kameria? Yes. But perhaps I should give them new, less familial names. Benny and the Jets. They were great warriors of Earth? You know they were. Top of the charts. Then I have given away everything except Benny, and the Jets. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... Just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. And these are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a... trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. Right. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, 
It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. <laughs> my emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. You know, this toy was a good primer, but... I've upgraded to the real deal. Accept no substitutes. <gasps> well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Totally sacrifice things. Fine. The gun goes. You happy? Consider my swords ditched. I am Groot. Man, that is... really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You... should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Blue! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. I am Groot. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well... I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. But you said to be a part of the team. Yes, but it's mine. Yes, yours to give away. Politely decline. Let the bug keep it, Pete. Jeez. He obviously does not want me to have the baking glove. <laughs> Baseball. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Fuck it. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even after Peter's inspiring sacrifice, it's gonna be close. I'm thinking it's better to be safe and lose the extra weight. Okay, you win. Today's the day the music dies. Drax! <laughs> It is dead. Okay. With that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. Out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta uh, pick an exit. Are you 
you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. Hey, Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? It is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's... Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Ugh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth too. <laughs> We're going out the bum. Colon, Peter. It's pronounced colon. It's working! And it's gonna be gross. The ship's never gonna be clean again. Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Explosive diarrhea. Team. What? Oh, good. Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. Okay, okay, I hear you. Looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. I'm fine! Okay, I'm out here! Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? I, I don't think that's a sign. One, two, three. Okay, Pete, I gotta break this thing! Hold on to something! Rocket, don't you dare! How's it going, Quill? You still with us? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Good. Now when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle that? Yes, Rocket, I think I can manage the simple task of... Hey! 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 Resolve the situation with our knives. I am
protect my new family like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to come find me. Here I am now. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there! The ship's breaking up! Please, Peter. Give me this. Trax. We're losing engine power! I am! We can't get this out! You gotta do something, Pete! Tell me what I have to do. Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Give that ugly thing some hell. No, it gets nothing. I will just kill it. Did the trick. Whoa, you okay? Nice work, buddy. I am Groot. Why? What happened? You okay, Pete? Where's Drax? <laughs> no. Peter, where's Drax? <laughs> he died a hero. He's the reason we're still here. What's that mean? He jumped from the airlock to slow the creature down. No! What? He's... gone? We have to go back. Come on, hold on, we can't go back. We're limping as it is. Also, this is how you keep us together. By launching one of us out the airlock? Be a long ride to nowhere. <laughs>